Radio. That was beautiful. That was awesome. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, that, he did not have that one very good. <laughs> I was even lucky I made that thing bite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she was just in and out, and then it just kind of barely this, just yeah. the little nipper. She did not want to be close to the boat. She bailed like. That was a cool strike, though. Made her do it. Yeah. She didn't. She really didn't want to bite. Talk her into it. Grab my door handle. Look out my door. There's a fucking 400 pound black bear 10 feet from my really? door. Really? <laughs> just walking by. <laughs> just scoping you out. Hold on. There you go. Oh God, he's tiny. I got him though. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh guy. That's the one we're looking for. Yeah. Can I net it? Uh, we don't. Know. Pretty one. Yeah. Both side hit. Both side. Going with the green. Seven. Not. Treat them with respect. Not a monster, but cool looking. Pretty fish. Gotta go back. Black and green. I see seven. Well, we sold them. Not as many as we would have if we had black green. People were just going to Nick to buy them. There's one. one. Keep going, keep yep, going. Yep, I see him. Got him, got him. Oh, I knew that was coming off. <laughs> God. Okay. He, he caught me in a really weird spot. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Go there. Come on. I should have hung it for one more fucking second. Yep. God. You never know when they're going to do it. Oh, that, that one eat like this was insane. <sighs> I'd always see him fish in the saddle. He'd never fish the rest of the pony, but he'd fish this one. Okay. Got it. Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Easy now. Biting. They are biting. We got what? Three. Three bites and half hour. What's that? Long yeah. Well, we're in a pretty intense bite window, it seems. I see seven with another one. Nick just had a really nice one going around and missed his bait like twice. This guy. It's just a little spunky one, but we're gonna go back and get Nick's because his is about a uh, four footer. Yeah, that tail's wild. Look at that. A little flat one. <laughs> yeah, flat tail. Another one for the IC7. We really fish the other side of this. There's, a, there's always bait in this channel. There's a ton of current that goes through here. Yeah, get that one. It's the same one. Keep going. What you got? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Is that the same fish? I don't know. I don't know. That one looks a little bit bigger. Yeah. Like it it's kinda, gone. It, well, it, start, like, it, start, going, it started doing it. the same thing, and then I, then I saw it come back up and eat it. That was sick. So All right, to the back. 
All right, guys, we are out here today testing a new bucktail from Musky Frenzy, something we've had a ton of success on already this year. Yeah. And Nick, tell me a little bit about this thing. So it's basically, it's a downsized uh, bucktail, um, different blade combination. So we have a, a smaller uh, number seven Colorado that's actually thinner, 7,000 thinner than our other bucktails. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's got a different sound in the water, um, much faster spinning blade and flares out more. So it's just got a different vibration to it. Yeah, and I think one thing that's really cool, we've talked about a lot the last few days is how a lot of baits in the market are going to a heavier blade or a thicker blade. Right. Whereas in this case, you're going the other way to be different yep. and going with a thinner blade. So the thinner blade here is gonna be 18 thousandths with that number seven. And like Nick said, it's thinner, it spins faster. It's got a higher pitch sound in the water yeah, versus a thicker blade. Than anything else we have right now. <laughs> exactly. And then that standard 25 thousandths number eight Indiana that we've had for years past. And the one thing I really like about this bait is the one ounce weight in the back. Now, a lot of your lighter bucktails, or even bucktails in general in the market, are really weighted very light. Now, Especially the smaller ones. Exactly. Yeah. And this yeah. thing, you can cast an absolute mile in a crosswind, downwind, right. into the wind, and it fishes it. super yep. nice. You can burn yep. it, you don't have to worry about blowing out of the water. Um, you can figure eight it super fast, as you just saw with right. this fish. And uh, just it's a, a, it's a awesome bait. It's a loud bait too. For awesome a small bait. bucktail, it's actually really loud. So yeah. You can find it. Even in these waves and stuff, they're tracking that thing down, no problem. And this thing has been working all over the Midwest. I know I've had success with Green Bay in it. Um, lakes all over Canada have already been catching yep. fish on Northern it. Wisconsin. Minnesota, Northern Wisconsin. Yep. Like everybody who's had this bait this year has been catching fish on it. Absolutely. And anybody can throw it. Doesn't matter if you're a novice angler, you don't like throwing big blades, or you like burning bucktails. Yeah, this is a bucktail right. that anybody can use. So. Super cool bait and an awesome fish. Let's show you guys this one real quick. Go ahead, Nick. Yep, hold on and take a slide to your right. Sweet. Another Lake of the Woods fish. Beauty. On the seven. And we had a fish, you had another fish in, different than this one than the cast yeah, prior. Yeah, like a couple cats. Yeah, that just flared off, but we, we're gonna see if we can spin around and catch this one, but we're in a bit of a window. Fish are going nuts. This is our fourth fish, fifth fish today. Fifth fish today and it's all just a little bit past seven. noon yep. all on IC7s. So. Get more. Yeah, for sure, man. Awesome. Nice work. Boom. That's going to be good. All right, Jess, another one, IC7. Seventh no. fish for me on an IC7. First Lake of the Woods fish. I just uh, had a little cat nap there, had some snacks, and we're back on them. Um, nope. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is my sixth fish on this bait. Not this color, I've been throwing a lot of um, black on black. But yeah, this is surprisingly it was my smallest fish on this. I've caught five fish over 46 on this exact bait, the biggest being 48. So on Pipestone, we fish a lot of deep rock structure, um, main lake stuff, shorelines. And this bait's awesome because you can cast it super far, it's heavy. You can also burn it really fast. And I seen a really big fish the other day um, burning over top of trees. I'll let y'all be going back on it. Hopefully you'll see it soon because I'm gonna catch it, but sweet little bait. <laughs> One thing that I've really been impressed with with this bait is how well the fish can feel it or hear it even in this wind and then the really dark water of Lake of the Woods. I mean this fish came from the bottom of the lake. You didn't even see it coming. No, I just like classic on Lake of the Woods. You always want to do one eight or big O at the boat. I just went into my first turn and I was like, go, got it. Yeah. Didn't even see it. So the fish can find this bait regardless of how dirty the water is, how windy it is, even that mm -hmm. small blade. And you can throw this bait all day long. Super yep. easy bait to throw. Yep. Nice work, babe. Sweet. Put her back. Nice work, Jess. Whew. Number seven? Six. Six. Nice. Six. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. 